Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do this Tag Unicorn Unicorn using one of my favorite splits, Tag Unicorn. It's beautiful and so fun and you can do so many things with it and of course make a super girly fun unicorn. This design is perfect for switching it up with different colors too. This would be the perfect classic rainbow stripe rainbows, unicorn, go together, right? I do it all the time. But today I wanted to use um, tag unicorn and just keep it all super girly with these awesome colors. I also use some really fun chunky glitter. So stay tuned and see how I got this fun girly look. I'm starting with one of my favorite brushes. It's the three quarter inch from the face painting shop. And I'm just doing a rainbow stripe with Tag Unicorn on one side. And then I'm taking the heel of that brush and I'm giving myself some eyeshadow. And then I kind of lie it flat over my eye and then drag and give it a little bit of a peek. And I'm going to spray a smoothie blender and dip into some chunky glitter and apply that while the paint is still wet so it has something to stick to. And I am using Unicorn Tears by the Gypsy Shrine, which is this beautiful periwinkle sparkly chunky glitter. So put that over my eye too. The camera doesn't do it justice, of course, but it's this really beautiful iridescent purpley periwinkle. Do two petals on the side of my eye here and I started with a little V shape and I'm going to pull and twist and then flip my brush over and connect the two shapes to create a one stroke petal. I'm going to do it without the V on the bottom of my eye here so you can see you don't have to make that little V shape but I find if you're painting at an odd angle or sometimes when I'm painting on myself it just helps me to remind me where to place my brush and then connect so it's a good trick if you have issues doing this but then after a while you'll just do it naturally and it's no big deal so I'm going to do a larger flower at the bottom of my rainbow shape and then you'll see me make the V again, the petal going down. For some reason, when I do petals on myself and I'm going down, it's harder for me. So I like to make the little V, pull down, flip my brush so my colors connect correctly, and then pull that stroke down so they connect. And now I'm going to add this mama clown fairy floss glitter which is so pretty it's the most glittery sparkly glitter i've ever used and i'm going to add that over my flowers and then even a little bit over my chunky glitter too because i want this to be super super sparkly so now i'm going to take my trusty filbert brush loaded with diamond effects white and i make a large oval in the center of my forehead then i make a smaller oval next to that larger one and then I connect them to create my unicorn's head and then a swoop for the ear and then I pull up to make the horn and then I pull down and around kind of in a little s shape for the neck of the unicorn and then a little circle of blue for the eye and I do that now so that it has time to dry so when I do my black detail I can go over it and then just taking some white I do some dots in the center of my larger flowers some teardrops going up my rainbow stripe and some dots and starbursts just to give it some extra detail I am using this new Mark Reed brush. Well, it's new to me. Um, I really, really like it. I usually would do something a little smaller for dots and teardrops, but I just wanted to try it so badly. So the starbursts are a little larger than I would normally do, but it does have a really, really nice tip on it. And I think once I use it a little bit, I'll have more control over it because this is the first time I'm using it. It is the number six Mark Reed, but I really like the bristles. They're very stiff, which is great for face painting. So I think I will invest in some other sizes of his brushes as well. Now I'm just going to take the pink and purple from my tag unicorn unicorn cake and I'm going to do the hair. So I started by dragging the peak of my angled brush and then pushing down to create that kind of bouffant look at the front of my unicorn's head. 
And then you can see I'm just kind of dragging, pulling, and lifting up when I want it to end in a more of a peaked line. But these brushes, like filbert brushes, are really great to manipulate because you can push down and get a larger stroke or pull up and get a thinner stroke. And I almost forgot the starburst at the top of our unicorn's horn. You can't forget that. That's the magic. So I added that at the top as well. And now I'm taking a very, very small, low Cornell brush, and I am going to do the detail. And I'm trying to not have my hand in the way, so <laughs> at times I kind of pause because I'm trying to do this so you guys can see all of my movements, which is a little difficult because normally I would be holding the brush a little bit closer to the tip. So I'm holding it closer towards the end of the brush so that you guys can see how the bristles of my brush are moving and that I'm not covering it up. And unicorn faces can be really hard. I think the best thing to do is practice a hundred times and one day it'll just get easier. But if you think about how hard they are to do on your hand or on your arm, um, just think of how hard it is when you have like a wiggly little kid in front of you. So the more you practice your strokes, the more confident you'll be because you do kind of need to move quickly on little kids, especially with all this little detail. But you can see I'm just staying right on the tip of my brush. My line work is very, very light and it's not too complicated. I just want to carve out the hair a little bit so it has some definition and of course give my unicorn a nice pretty eye with some eyelashes and you can go back in with white and give the eye a little bit of a sparkle and then highlight the hair as well if you have time and I am going to take my liner brush and go around my flower as well just because I felt like this design needed that to balance everything out and then I'm just gonna sweep up over the rainbow just a little bit and I've said this before when I outline I don't do it very thick and I don't do it too precisely either I just loosely outline and you'll notice since I was painting on myself, I quickly opened my eye um, after applying my little eyeshadow sweep. When you're doing this on kids, tell them to keep their eye closed for a second and it'll dry a little bit better. Mine kind of smushed together because of course I'm painting it myself, so I needed to open my eye. <laughs> but there's my tag unicorn unicorn. I hope you guys like this and I hope you try it. Thanks for watching.